Hello guys, it's Rackham, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about Armenia under-19 versus Italy under-19, man, in the 2019 UEFA under-19 championship. Um, I believe this is taking place in Armenia. Uh, this game ended in a 4-0 win for Italy, bro. Not really surprised by the scoreline and the result. And uh, Italy was pretty much dominated the game, man. one side result, man. I'm not sure what's up with Armenia defense. The defense was pretty much... The sticks out there, man. The sticks is watching everything happen, bro. They did not provide nothing defensively. They was just awful defensively, man. And uh, Italy were able to score two goals in the first half, man, and two in the second half, man. Probably should have scored way more than, than four goals, to be honest, man. That's how poor Armenia was in defending. And uh, nothing really going forward, bro. Nothing really going forward. Not creative. Um, passing was very poor and they was getting the ball stripped from them easily intercepted and stolen easily and thus Italy just dominated the, the, the um, ball possession wise shots in in total shots on target bro they just dominated all aspects of the game stat wise and uh, yeah man they probably should have scored more goals um, what's his name uh, Manola Manola Port uh, Portova Portnova Portnova I believe Portanova um, scored three goals so far in the tournament, scored two goals in this game, the opening goal, great goal by him, and followed by, um, what's his name, uh, Morala, Morala scoring the equalizer, the second goal in the 32nd minute, good goal by him again, poor defensive man marking it, and, and uh, and defensively, um, not aware, man. Awareness defensively was very poor. Goalkeeper was very poor, man. Getting caught off his line and in no man's world a lot, man. So that was just poor, awful defending by him. And uh, the, the left side, bro, Armenian left side was getting um, getting ripped apart, man. Ripped apart piece by piece, man. Italy pretty much focused on their right side and just took it apart, man. In the first half and second half, man. The left back and central uh, and, and uh, center back left, man. He, he, he was struggling. The wingers, everybody on the left side was just struggling, man. Portanova was just giving them problems and just ripping them apart, man. Goals after goals after goal. And, uh, yeah, man, since the 56th minute was uh, Manola Porto, uh, Portanova again scoring the third goal. His third goal of the tournament so far. The third goal for Italy and the second goal in the game. And put him on 3-2 in the 56th minute. And in the 6-9 minute, we're pretty much top it off with uh, Giam, G, uh, Giacoma. Um, Rasp Raspadori, man, scoring the uh, fourth goal, his first goal of the game. And Italy just pretty much ran over Armenia, man. Armenia, I'm not sure why they're in the tour tournament. Pretty much because they're also in the tournament. That's the only reason I could think of them being in the tournament because they're pretty much out of their league. They're in a very tough league with Italy, Spain, and uh, Por and Portugal, man. That's a very, very tough group for a small team like them, a small country like them. Uh, as I said, man, Spain, Portugal, and Italy, bro, those are the top nations when it comes to like football in Europe. And those nations produce a lot of star, man. So, under 19, uh, these lower, um, yeah, the, the youth system, man, they have a better youth system. And uh, these youth tournaments pretty much going to be dominated by those teams. Uh, Spain won the 2019, 2019 under 21 championship, man. So, you know, you know them to do very well, man. So, uh, group A is looking like this, man. After two games, but two games overall, uh, Spain is on top with four points. Portugal in second place with four points. Italy is in third place with four, uh, with uh, three points, and Porsche, Armenia is in last place with zero points, man. So Italy will play uh, Spain next. That should be a very um, juicy affair, man. It should be a very contested game and, and important game for both teams, and. Um, Portugal are going to play Armenia, man. That should be a one-sided game. But if Armenia get a draw or, or or a win out of that game, man, that's going to be pretty much a win for them, in my opinion. Uh, it's going to be like they win the tournament because I don't expect them to really compete versus Portugal like that, man. But uh, definitely like, definitely subscribe, man. Let me know, let me know what team you support. Armenia on the 19 or Italy on the 19. And with that, you boys out of here. Peace.